Hey guys, Michelle here, and this is a story time about the time I snuck out of the house to go to my first concert. <laughs> so in high school, well basically my entire life, I've been very, very lame. Like, I never do anything ever out of the ordinary. Never went to parties, never went to sleepovers, never went to concerts, never did anything fun because I have super duper strict psycho parents who never let me leave the house. So um, my senior year of high school um, was still really boring, but I had one best friend, uh, her name's Maisie, we're not gonna make a fake name, and she and I were, we hung out all the time. Like we go, I go to her house, sometimes she come over to my house, but really we hung out at her house mostly. And it was just really fun. And she had like this huge crush on this guy named Jackson Rathbone. Um, if you've seen Twilight, he's uh, he's one of the brothers, uh, Jasper. <laughs> yeah, he's Jasper in the Twilight series, that's who he plays. So um, she thought he was just so hot and then she found out that he had an actual rock band and that he did concerts and like he toured with them and stuff. And so I was like, oh wow, yeah, that's cool. And she was like, if they come to a concert near us here in California, we should go. And I was like, oh my God, yeah, okay. I've never been to a concert before, that'd be really cool. So um, the end of the school year, so it's like uh, probably June, June, like we found out that they were gonna have a concert and it was gonna be up at Universal Studios at the Hard Rock. And we're like, she's like, yeah, we should go. And I was like, oh yeah, sure. And she's like, it's gonna be $20. I gave her $20 for the ticket. And I don't know, it's like, when she told me that the time of the concert, it started at like seven, you know, like a normal concert. And I remember that my curfew, I don't really have a curfew, but basically my curfew was never leave the house. But if you do leave the house, be home by 8 p.m. So <laughs> I was like, well, the concert starts at 7 p.m. And obviously it's not gonna end immediately and I need to be in the house by 8. That means I can't even bother asking my parents because they're gonna say no. So <laughs> I was like, it's fine. I'll just sneak out and say I'm going to your house. And they're like, oh, okay, good. So like, we, we had this really stupid, un it was not well thought out at all, really. Because I was like, I'm gonna tell my parents that I'm going to hang out with you at your house. And she's like, okay, I'm gonna tell my mom that I that we are going to a, a music festival in a, <laughs> like downtown or like in the town over or something. And that's where we were gonna be. And I mean, like, that didn't really make any sense because obviously we were going to be gone too long. Like, Universal Studios, LA, it's like a good two hour drive <laughs> from where we are. So to go to the concert, wait in line, be there, and stay after, and then come home, we still wouldn't be home until like 1 a.m. at the earliest, but we weren't really thinking. We we're just like, oh no, it's gonna be fine. And so like, and she couldn't tell her mom that she was driving anywhere far like LA because she just got her license. Like, yeah, she just got it. We both had just learned how to drive and let's be honest, she wasn't the best at it, <laughs> okay? So her mom would have been very nervous about us driving all the way over there. But like, we we're like, we can do this, you know? Like we're, we're almost adults, we can handle this. So me, Macy and then our two other friends like we all pile into this car at like it was early it was like maybe 1 p.m. that we decided we were going to drive over and wait in line to get into this concert so we go over and we get there real early we're waiting in line we're like having fun we're laughing and like the whole time like I'm having a great time but I'm also very nervous because I know I, if I get caught I'm gonna be in so much trouble I'm never gonna be allowed to leave the house again but I'm just telling myself I'm like this is worth it it's gonna be so cool I've never been to a concert before we get in and it is the best concert of my entire life like to this day I'm like that was so fun your first concert is always like the best <laughs> and it was like, you know, it's a rock concert. So it's like a small concert in the cafe and they were all really cool. The music was great. Everyone was having so much fun. Um, by the time the concert ended, it was like 11, 11.30 at night. And of course my phone was blowing up. Like my mom knew that I was not in her house and she was livid about it. And I was like, you know what? I'm already in trouble. So we might as well just 
How's it fun while we're out here? That's fine. So <laughs> we decided to stay after for the um, the meet and greet and get autographs. Uh, actually, hold on. <laughs> there we go. So you can see this is real. We went. We saw the hundred monkeys, and then they all signed it and he was so gorgeous like Jackson Rathbone was so beautiful and when we walked up to him I, we couldn't speak to him we were just like <gasps> and we just walked away like losers and took our signed pages so we <laughs> this is the hilarious part now having to get home like having to get to the concert was already a mess like we were confused and we were reading off like a paper printed out map quest because none of us had smartphones and we didn't we couldn't GPS anything so we printed out map quest and you know how map quest works like if you make one wrong turn you're screwed okay you have to find a way to get back onto the directions so getting there like we had gone slightly lost but not really like I think we ran two red lights because we were all arguing about where to go um, but we got there in one piece, but getting back was confusing because if you ever been in LA, when you get on the freeway, you don't just get on the freeway. Like, <laughs> you get on the freeway and there's like 10 different ones. You got the 101, you got the 10, you got the 15, you got the 5, you got all of them. And we like, and they all have the same numbers in them. And we're like, we need to take one of these freeways to get home. And no one can figure out which one it is because even though we had map quest our way there, for some reason, nobody had thought to map quest our way back. <laughs> like, no one knew how to get home from there. So, we ended up, one of our friends ended up having like, he called his dad and he was like, his dad for some reason answered the phone at like past midnight. It was like, we're lost, we don't know how to get home. And then he like gave us directions on how to get back onto the right freeway. And from that freeway, we get onto another freeway. And so we ended up getting home probably around like 2 a.m. with all the confusions and getting lost and stuff. And like, I'm tired. Like, <laughs> Macy drops me off at my house and then she goes home and that's when the real trouble started. Like I walk into the house and like no one's there. Like the lights are on but no one's there and I'm like oh maybe I'm in the clear. Maybe my parents just went to sleep and I'm good. So I go up to my room. I'm like getting changed. I'm like I can just like sneak in here. No one's even gonna know what happened. Nope. I get a text from Macy like like freaking freaking out she's like hey um actually your mom's at my house um my mom was is awake and they were both here and i guess they figured out everything my mom knows everything which means your mom knows everything and i'm like reading all this and i'm like hyperventilating i'm like oh god <laughs> my mom knows what happened i'm dead it's over life was done i need to go and hide and so I'm like trying to get into bed. That, that didn't work out. My mom was home literally like a minute after that and she's already screaming. 2 a.m. People are sleeping and my mom is losing her mind. She's like, do you have any idea how worried I was? Why didn't you respond? I'm like, because you were going to yell at me. She's like, well, of course I'm going to yell at you. You snuck out. You drove to L.A. That's so dangerous. Why would you do that? And she's going off and on. And the whole time I'm just like, Cause like, I don't know, I felt kind of badass. Cause it was like, this is the summer after senior year, which means this is the summer right before I'm leaving for college. Like I only have maybe two months before I get to move out and not have this be a problem anymore. I can do whatever the heck I want. So I'm like, you know what mom, it's fine. She's like, you're not going to do anything for the rest of the summer. I'm like, you know what? I don't even care because I already had my fun and I'm going to be moving out anyway. So yeah, that's that story time. Yeah, it was fun. Dumb, but really fun. Okay, bye. <laughs>